Order acknowledged, sir. Oh, crap! <laughs> I just flew into... I think that was... Uh, the carrot. Ow, ow! Flight control system and engines. Ugh. I cannot maneuver anymore. Um, how long does it take to repair? Flight control system is 15 seconds. Come on, how long? 10 seconds. Come on. Once I board again with uh, one of those reload uh, things. Come on, flight control system. Zero seconds. Give me... Yes. Engines. Oh man, I'm a sitting duck. For like a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna survive that long. Just sitting here. Target destroyed. Yeah, I'm goner. I'm a goner. Why? Incoming Ooh. missile. Is that the Harpex firing these things at me? Yeah, I think it is. That's crap. That's bad news. It means it will keep Alpha coming, one. yeah. Incoming missile. That's bad news. Very Alpha bad one. news. Incoming missile. Yeah, some video editing uh, might be in order for this one. This is the fourth attempt. Yes, fourth attempt. Hurry up, Alpha. Light cruiser Warhawk is closing in on the Harpax. It has nothing to do with the fact that I want to kill these ships because I couldn't care less. Uh, I just want them gone. Try to take out the Warhawk's lasers with your torpedoes. But I just keep dying. Zarin's forces will arrive soon. Now, last time I died, uh, in a minute, I probably won't show you. Um, I died because I fired my rockets at the protector. Um, and then it started to fire advanced missiles at me. Continuously. Alpha 2, transport CUV 18F1 is available for you to reload. Alpha 1. And I died because of that. Um, advanced missiles will take you out um, in two shells. And this is a continuous stream of advanced missiles. So I really need to, need, need to make sure I destroy the protector um, really quickly. And the trick to do that, if I showed you the attempt, you know what I'm about to do, but um, the trick to do that is get the um, transport to board me and then continually fire heavy rockets at, uh, at my target. I thought this thing was going to reload me. Okay. You know what? Request for reinforcements acknowledged. I've done this mission enough. Transmission received, Alpha One. Using your target for attack. Wow, interdict the Harpax really taking a beating. Really taking a beating, wow. Yeah, 
this thing is getting uh, to me it's pretty pretty slow pace and so is this thing I will uh, wait a bit nothing is targeting me for the moment and I'm guessing once I'm close this thing will be in range Oh wow, this looks really cool. Look at this, it's flying overhead while I'm standing still. I need to get some distance between me and the big ship flying overhead because of the simple fact I don't want to hit it. And now I'm in range, so... Let's get this boarding operation on the way. This should do the trick. I will clean up a lot of those missiles. That's okay. Reload operation complete. I do think a lot will still come through. I think it did. Alpha yeah. One. Primary mission objectives completed. Outstanding, Alpha One. You're an inspiration to us all. The battle isn't over yet, so keep it up as long as you're able. Here come a lot of Corvettes. And a lot of other crud. It all has to be destroyed for the secondary. Modified Corvettes uh, and assault transport. And also these guys who gave me a hard time in the first time I tried to do this mission. I still hate escort shuttles. Alpha one. Target destroyed. Even now that I have shields and everything and speed and good craft and no longer in the TIE fighter, I still hate escort shuttles. Where the passion? Also because uh, as long as these guys are around and fighters are targeting me, I cannot get any more reloads. I need reloads if I want to take care of those Corvettes quickly. Oh, I see I'm still charging the beam for some reason. Target destroyed. I also hate the fact <laughs> That these things keep firing at me even after they die. That that little turbo laser turret thingy on the back, it just continues to fire even while the ship has completely disassembled, completing a 100% annoyance. These things are perfectly designed to be horrible. Now please do not bump into any Corvettes or any nastiness. My wingman is gone. I did ask for reinforcements in this uh, turnaround. Target destroyed. These are the assault transports. These are pretty uh, long way out. This guy is flying to rendezvous point. This is my uh, reload. Target destroyed. Utility vehicle, but seems like it's out of missiles. Which means I will do uh, some old-fashioned old 
Sorry, old fashioned hunting. Yes. Bonus goal 100% of rebel craft is destroyed. This is one of those missions I really want to Zoran's do. Zoran's ships are attacking Imperial class Star Destroyer Garrett. The treachery is worse than we imagined. Oh, Carbax that's the reason why it's assault transports are on The Defectors and Rebels now. The Emperor must be in danger. We must return to Coruscant. See who's closest to their jump point and attack them. Yeah, as much as I like the Emperor, I would take out some more guys over here. Something tells me we will make it just in time to save the Emperor. That's how it always works. Actually, let's do the beam weapon for this one. God, these things are tough. Now these things are suicidal. My God. That guy twice. That's uh, more than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the message. I'll back off for a bit. These things are horrible. They have turrets that go all around 360. They have pretty massive shielding. And I'm being targeted by missiles. Alpha one, incoming missile. Well, the good thing is now I've made the primary goals, I've completed the primary goals. Everything can die, it's no problem anymore. Everything is expandable except me. And I don't think I can uh, really complete all the secondary, but I will have a really good try at it. The problem is those corvettes. Once I start attacking them without heavy rockets, uh, it will take a while before Target I take them destroyed. down. And the problem with this is, uh, I do think, I do believe they will start launching missiles at me. Probably advanced missiles, since they are modified corvettes. And that's a pain in the ass. Some, for some reason, when you fly directly into your opponent, both firing your guns, uh, that really puts me on edge. Maybe it's the sound of the lasers, I don't know. It's one of those moments I can really feel it. Target destroyed.
Now, it doesn't seem like uh, this guy is going to give me any more rockets. Radio message received, Alpha One. So I'm going to let him head home. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll respawn, you never know. Okay, well, time to start fighting the Corvettes. Let's see if these guys actually do fire missiles. They do fire a shitload of lasers, I know that. Target destroyed. Good hunting, Alpha One. Target destroyed. And they still continue to fire even after they're gone. I got all the assault transports, I uh, got one Corvette, uh, but they're in groups and there are lots of them. Well, let's start on them. It might take a while. But as long as these guys don't fire any rockets and I'm careful with my shielding, I should be able to take them out. These secondary goals are hard, but I also do think they will probably get me a promotion if I pull it off. So that's the whole reason I'm trying. I want to move up in the secret circle, secret order. Lasers aren't fully charged, so I'm not doing uh, that much damage. But well, it's better than nothing. Now my shields are fully back uh, to full strength. So. Yeah, once you get too close, it's kind of hard to maneuver. That's when they can really hit you. So you probably shouldn't make uh, the strafing runs too close to them. But I'm always tempted to get one more shot in. You know? Falcon and Bakar. Okay. Pretty good first strafing run. Took out half his shielding. Too close, yeah. It's too close. Then there's then those really uh, then those turrets eat you up. Right. So much for its shielding. I'm 
please do not forget. These things still pack a punch after you destroy them. Two modified corvettes, three modified corvettes. Let's take care of Falcon first. It doesn't look like he's going anywhere soon, but still. Uh, let's make sure he doesn't get a chance to bugger off. You uh, may have noticed I speed up time when uh, moving away from the target. I am pretty comfortable doing this because I know how not to get hit pretty much when I move away from the target. And it's quite simple. Just make sure you don't fly in a straight line, but if you have a slight curve to it, the computer won't really adjust its gunnery for where you are heading. It will just fire its guns at where you are. This is the final group of modified Corvettes. Once I am able to finish it, that should be uh, the secondary goals in the bag. It's a lot of work, it might not be the most interesting bit of gameplay to watch, but well, it has to be done. And to be quite honest, I don't really mind. I like flying around, taking out big capital ships. this I believe it's two more. Good work, target destroyed. Yeah, Bakar two and three. And that should be all she wrote. Oh cool, they're actually firing at the Star Destroyer, so uh, they will probably get destroyed either way. Or some help. This way they uh, don't have all their guns pointed at me, which is a good thing as well. one is firing at me, so it's not firing at the Star Destroyer. Got to see the positive side in everything. Some horrible shooting right there. Target destroyed. 
Excellent work, Alpha nice. One. Secondary mission objectives completed. Bravo, Alpha One. Lord Vader has taken special notice of you. Return to the Garrett's hangar for some exciting news. I'm on my way. This was one hell of a mission. Uh, took a long time too. 31 minutes on the clock. I will return to the hangar, uh, shake Darth Vader's hand, uh, do all the politics. Actually, we are the only two ships out there for the moment. Let's uh, check out the aftermath of this one. One of two bonus goals. I missed one, sadly. Excellent, I got the Victory Class Star Destroyer on my tab. Not the Light Calamari, sadly, we can't have it all. Seven out of eight Corvettes. And one out, sorry, modified Corvettes. One out of two Corvettes. This was a job well done. And we lost a lot of ships, including an interdictor. That's, uh, that's pretty massive. We eliminated the defector's flagship. At the same time, we ensured the survival of Lord Vader's ship. The arrival of Admiral Zarin's forces on our enemy's side can mean only one thing. Admiral Zarin is moving against the Emperor. Lord Vader is determined to return to Coruscant to warn the Emperor if there is still time. The Garrett has suffered some critical damage and can't make it. There is hope, however, because Lord Vader had transferred the new TIE Defender prototypes to this ship in the hope of conducting operational trials with them. This isn't the kind of test he had in mind, but they are the only craft available that could make it in time. You have been selected to lead the effort. Lord Vader will accompany you. Well, I'll have a time to promote me to flight leader, but thank you. You helped destroy all of the forces Admiral Zarin sent against us. Yep, I made sure. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, according to my YouTube stats, by the way, that's mostly gentlemen. I will call this a video and I will see you in the next when we rush off to save the Emperor.